is lesson four, obstacle avoidance car. So first need to install the servo library. So open sketch, include library, manage libraries. So, so here's sketch. And we're going to include library, manage libraries. I'm going to do the servo by Michael Margolis, which is this one here. And it looks like I already have it installed. But if you don't have it installed, then click install. And then we are going to file open. Lesson four, obstacle avoidance car. And we are going to program our robot with it. Now uh, it's time to calibrate our distance sensor. As you can see, it's uh, spinning loosely here on the servo motor. So um, what we need to do is point the distance sensor to where there's a long far distance. Uh, so I'm pointing it up at the ceiling kind of. And then we're going to turn on the switch. And as you can see our tires are going Ooh, that servo doesn't sound too good. As you can see, we got some problems here. Um, our servo's not moving. Our left wheels are going backwards, and our right wheels aren't doing anything. So let's sit down and figure out what's wrong. First of all, let's fix the wheel rotation problem. The right wheels are not doing anything, and the left wheels are going backwards. So let's go into the code and see if we can find out uh, what's causing that problem. We, we know that we had our infrared car working correctly. Um, so let's go ahead and open our infrared car program from lesson three, the revision two version. So you can see with the uh, software here, for their forward program, let's compare that with the forward program from the remote control car. So you can see now with ENA and ENB, they are using an ABS signal. This is a pulse width modulation signal generated by the Arduino.